Calculators. Calculators. I found one. Are you ready to make some math homework? Wait a second. Did I hear some groans? Well, that's okay. Not everyone gets excited about making homework. For some, math can be a difficult subject too. Don't fear though! We have a fantastic tool that can help you with your math homework. With a few button pushes, you can calculate your way to the correct answers in no time. What are we talking about? The calculator, of course. Well, today calculators are everywhere. Many kids probably take them for granted. After all, any smartphone will have a calculator application right there on the home screen. You can also go to any discount store and pick up a basic solar powered calculator for a dollar or two. If you have a computer, you have all the calculating power you need at your fingertips. Although calculators are very common today, they weren't always as cheap and as easily accessible. In fact, they didn't really come around until the dawn of the computer age. Before that time, you really had to rely upon pencil and paper or perhaps an older counting instrument, such as an abacus. The first mainframe computers were developed in the 40s and 50s. These room-sized computers relied upon technologies such as vacuum tubes and transistors. They represented some of the first machines with robust calculating powers and paved the way for further development of electronic calculators a few decades later. As computer technology improved and microprocessors were developed, calculators became smaller and cheaper. Calculators that would fit in your pocket eventually became available in the mid-70s. By the 80s, calculators had become affordable enough to become commonplace in many schools. So how do these devices work? Most calculators rely on integrated circuits, more commonly known as chips. Integrated circuits contain transistors that can be turned on and off with electricity to perform mathematical calculations. The most basic calculations are addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. But the more transistors an integrated circuit has, the more uh, advanced mathematical calculations it can perform. Like all other electronic devices, calculators work by processing information in binary form. We're used to thinking of numbers in our normal base 10 system in which there are 10 digits to work with. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. The binary number system is a base 2 system, which means there are only 2 digits to work with, 0 and 1. Thus, when you input numbers into a calculator, the integrated circuit converts those numbers to binary strings of zeros and ones. The integrated circuits then use those strings of ones and zeros to turn transistors on and off with electricity to perform the desired calculations. Once the calculation has been completed and the answer in binary form is then converted back into our base 10 system and displayed on the calculator's display screen. Most calculator displays use inexpensive technology such as LCD or LED. We hope you enjoyed our wonder of the week. Like, subscribe, share and comment your thoughts down below and I'll see you later.